Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Saratoga Racecourse here on Friday. It is September the 2nd, 2016. I'm going to look at race number 9. Before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseRacingKit5 for more selections. And remember, there was a pick, late pick 5 offered today and the uh, final few days of the meet. So go play that because I think it would be a great thing for Saratoga or for Naira uh, to offer that. Um, so really support that with that low 15% takeout. It's very good. Um, but this uh, ninth race from Saratoga is the 35th running of the Evans Bidman purse, hundred thousand dollars for three-year-olds and upwards. New York Brides field of five horses traveling a mile and eighth. Once we're on the spa, mile and eighth. And my top selection here is going to be a horse. I'm always I'm a very big fan of this horse, and that's a three-horse Royal Posse um, at eight to five. I'm going to put this horse into a trifecta. I'm going to go three, four, one, three, four, one. Uh, uh, number three Royal Posse. Rudy Rodriguez trains this one for I Rod Ortiz. Last time out, we're in the Alley Dar Sticks Saratoga on the eighth on August seventh. This horse won by one quarter lengths from the inside post position. You know, from the inside, this horse went to three. Uh, went to um, third um, and uh, basically stayed there all throughout until the top of the stretch and then just really had a very easy victory after that. Uh, running, winning against restricted horses, which was very nice. Before that, this horse was running in state bre against state breads. Uh, Belmont Park, mile 16th on July the 8th in uh, Saginaw Stakes. This horse finished second by two and a quarter lengths at 95 cents a dollar. This horse really couldn't get a great closing kick that day. And then a second on in the commentator on the slop at, uh, or on the mud at Belmont uh, Memorial Day weekend or on Memorial Day. But this horse really likes a wet course, I think. You know, his best race to date I think has to be the claiming crown jewel at um, Goldstream Park last season. Uh, at last uh, December, this horse won by two and a quarter, two and a half flanks, uh, in a field of 14 on an absolutely sloppy, sloppy racetrack. This horse won by two and a half flanks. You know, he just kept going that day, and it was a very clear victory. Uh, Javier Castellan was just, I think he could have won by a little bit more, but Javier just, you know, just weakened him up at the end. Um, you know, after this, where does this horse run? Does he take the break like he did last year and run back in the Empire Classic up to Saratoga, at uh, Belmont, down in, uh, uh, down in the, Long Island, yeah, I don't know, but uh, I think that's the logical step after this start. Or do they r maybe run this horse against uh, restricted horses again, or you know, um, or against uh, you know, other than New York breads? Um, so I'm gonna go with this horse as top selection. So to recap my bets for race number nine, the Evan Spidman, I'm gonna go with the three horse Royal Posse, I'm gonna go three four one, three four one. So good luck to all, and follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid Five. Good luck, everybody.